and welcome to the EEPROM 9 and today is a video on because this is long 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 overdue. This strange contraption and an interesting one which is an FG Systems PXL 780. What is it? It's a light pen setup and there's actually a number of different variants. There's even a variant that's basically a card that would plug into your computer that looks something like this, which I don't have. Find the page, find the page. And it's got like dip switches that you set and it looks like 8-bit ISA. I got all the documentation software, but you know what I do lack and this is why I will have to come back to this one at some point when I do get it. An actual computer that can run it. My CAF 286 sitting down there waiting for its own video. Has a plasma display and I cannot get it to work with my IBM 5150 display. I don't know whether that's because of incompatibility between EGA and CGA and all that jazz or just I don't know how to do the interpret the um, clear as mud dip switch settings from the manual to something. And it also says it only runs in Windows. And the only 95 CRT computer I have is in the garage and is currently dead awaiting work because it, it's a Compaco Presario CDS 722. And good luck finding anything for the software configuration for setting up the BIOS because I need to do that because hey presto the BIOS battery dies and it can't access the hard drive anymore. You, it's basically the classic thing of those little Dallas clock chips. The battery dies and your system's bricked. So if anyone knows and has the actual proper disk images or actual disks, please get in contact. I need those. I've tried doing the thing from the HP website where you could create disks and it needs a draw dry system. <laughs> and when you're... F yeah. <laughs> I never had any luck to setting that up with a dual floppy system. I tried and I failed over and over again. But that's a different subject for another video. So yeah, so how does this work? This connects to the back of this, this connector, this uh, joystick port looking one. In your keyboard, your actual keyboard goes in there, so that takes the input from the keyboard and probably power. This one connects through to your VGA. More specifically, you'll be monitoring the scan lines directly out of the VGA, which is actually quite a clever way of doing it, so that way it's going to be 100% as accurate as it can be. And then the almost RJ45 telephone type cable is the actual light pen itself and you can actually see the little LED in the front there are a little lens that will focus onto it now this doesn't look take apartable sadly it's also it's a metal yep that is some sort of anodized aluminium the dick software comes in three variant three variants of the same software and covers a whole host of Units from the actual model range, including the internal card ones. This one only does the internal card ones. These two, basically 720k and a 1.44 meg, based on what system you got. And this is the actual brains of the operation that would also be the card. And this thing is actually a full computer in itself. Yes, I've pre-done the screws. You didn't have to put up with me doing that. And I don't have a tripod mount for my phone yet. I might put that on the agendas of things to get. Thankfully, the Samsung SA, courtesy of my job, has built-in optical image stabilisation, which is why it doesn't currently look like an earthquake's happening on your end. And here we have it. We have your standard run-of-the-mill of the day, EEPROM which is absolutely beautiful. 1992, and this thing doesn't seem to have DOS. 
We've got what looks to be an Intel microcontroller. No, those are not RAM chips. They're 373s, which if I remember from top of the head, is actually a buffer chip. Oh, not sure what the 74AC111112N is. Or this one, but they're just going to be your standard logic addressing chips, your LMs, your crystal. Here it goes, it's made in 1994. Uh, 96 megs, which seems a bit high, so that could be kilohertz. And look at that, LM385. Now, interestingly, the part of the LED is, is actually isolated on the board. I'm not entirely sure why that is. And then we have this mysterious, almost like serial port thing there so i'm not quite sure why they decided to do that with basically just a led and an op amp then it's just more logic so yeah this thing's basically microcontroller which will have the ram and that just separate rom which was very common for early microcontrollers which this one's dated 1980 so yeah it's definitely an early microcontroller was the earliest microcontrollers actually came out in the late 70s. Then we've got another pin header. I should hook these up to the scope at some point, but sadly I can't do much more of a video on it than this at the moment because I simply don't have a computer that I can actually hook it up to. I mean, yeah, I've got DOS and 3.1 and 95 machines. And if I had a CRT monitor, I could do it on one of those laptops. But I don't actually have a VGA CRT monitor. After all, why would I need one under normal circumstances when just about every LCD monitor on the planet has a VGA input? <laughs> Even the HP one I brought that's sitting there has a VGA in the back. So yeah, uh, this one will have to be covered again in actually demonstrating it in a proper video at a later date. But I wanted to cover at least a little teardown of the device because, well, it was very kindly and generously donated by Edwin Burton oh, years ago now. <laughs> So thank you. And yes, I'm still waiting on uh, a particular setup. I was hoping I could use it with the IBM 5150 and I might be able to get away with that. But yeah, kind of a problem at the moment. <laughs> but at least 5150 works. So we have that. And I did only literally get that working this week. So... <laughs> uh... But yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and Edwin, thank you so much for sending this stuff along to me, and I will get round to covering everything, and now that I'm actually doing videos again, it'll just take time, <laughs> because I'm a lazy fuck. <laughs>